All right, so most of the data we've looked at already um, is very singular. It might be uh, changing over time, but the individual data points in our file um, don't have any uh, connection directly to the other ones, except that they're part of the same sort of topic. Um, on the other hand, a pie chart, which is something that we see a lot in um, you know, day to day, uh, is really about proportion data. We have a whole of something that's then divided into these sub parts um, that we want to see kind of the relationship between those pieces. And um, I found some really interesting data from the US uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, this is from 2020, and it lists um, the number of people in different occupations. There's a lot of other data here that's, I think, really awesome, and it would be totally worth digging into. But if we scroll down somewhere down here, we will find, oh, where is it? There we go. Arts, design, entertainment, sports, and media. Um, and so this, don't ask me why, uh, football coaches, radio DJs, and graphic designers are all in the same category shrug, we'll just accept this. Um, but I think this data is, is really interesting. So I downloaded it and cleaned it up a little bit for our use. And it's over here. So we've got um, occupation and we've got the total number of people in that field. Um, and this is in thousands. So for example, artists and related workers in 2020, 256,000 people um, listed that as their primary occupation. Lots of other you know, uh, categories here. Uh, but chart.js does a really nice job of uh, enabling us to load this, and it does all the math behind the scenes to figure out those proportions. We don't have to do any of that, which is great. Uh, so in this case, our labels will be the occupation of those people, and the count is our data. And that's because I want to be able to then hover over one of these uh, sections of the pie and see it say, writers and authors, 242,000. Um, other than that, it's very easy to make this happen. We change the type of the chart to be a pie chart. Um, all the other details are basically the same. Um, I have turned off the legend. Let me show you what it looks like if we don't do that. It becomes gigantic. It gets cut off. Um, there's just too much stuff here in part because our data is really big. If you had a much smaller data set, you might um, be able to get away with that. But I also keep in mind the context here. We're online. This is interactive. Um, I think it's much easier to hover over a section and see that there's 186,000 photographers or uh, only 11 commercial, 11,000 commercial and industrial designers um, than it is to see a big thing and try to sort of match and uh, pair those with those slices. Now, one other thing you might be thinking is that color is really boring, Jeff. This is super bad. It's all gray um, and it's definitely possible to change the color of these. I would recommend, again, taking a look at the documentation. Um, what you can do is specify a list of colors and it will apply kind of like labels. Um, so you could create one color for each um, section and it will automatically attach those. For our data here, it's awfully long, so I haven't done that. But if you had a smaller data set, that would work well. Or you could just take the time and kind of define those. Um, the way that would work would be you could create a variable called colors, and this will be a list. And then you can define the color in the same way that we've done for um, other sections. I guess I don't have any here. Um, so you could say RGB, and then a color value, comma, and then you could keep listing that. And then down here, um, you could include it with your pie chart. Um, so like I said, you know, my data is a little long. Certainly there are ways to deal with this in code. Um, if you haven't done that before, it's going to be a little bit complicated. Um, and then one other thing to show you is that um, chart.js gives us the option to either do a pie chart where the, the slices all go to the center or what's called a donut chart. And me being obsessed with donuts, this makes me very happy, um, which just has a kind of a hole in the center. So, um, and that's just a setting you can change um, in your chart. And that's it. So pie charts are one of the few formats that really are all about proportion of a whole. And they can be really great if your data is about that. So for example, with our projects, if you find demographic data, um, this can be a really good way of kind of exploring or seeing that.